On Friday 13th November, a major terror attack took place in locations across Paris. 129 people were killed at sites including a concert hall, sports stadium and restaurants. I'm here on the Highfield campus where a student organised vigil is taking place to show respect to those affected by this attack. So what motivates you to organise the vigil today? Um, my first motivation is that I'm half French, so I have a strong connection. Uh, I have family members and friends uh, in Paris and one of my first reactions after the event on Friday night was to get to know, you know if they were okay and uh, thankfully they all are. And secondly was the fact that um, Paris was also already victim of a terrorist attack in January and I was present at that time um, and I already sh um, could feel the determination and will of the French people and the French nation as a whole, whatever community, to gather and to show how strong they were. And because I wasn't in France and I couldn't take place at the events which happened this weekend, to try to their support, um, I wanted to see and, uh, and show that, you know, despite it happening in Paris, which is very close by, uh, you know, English and France, uh, and, and England, sorry, was as uh, could show as much support as a French people. There are also a variety of students speaking at the vigil. They're giving their own insights, not only to the events in Paris, but also in other places across the globe, such as Baghdad and Beirut. Gardez bien cela dans l'esprit, c'est vraiment ce qu'il veut. Il faut rester soudé avec tout le monde. I think it's heartwarming to see people around the world and here on campus coming together for this act of solidarity and taking a stand. I think it's more important than ever not to paint everyone with the same brush, not to paint all Muslims with the same brush. But I also think it's important to be wary and to learn more about the dangers of a political and fundamental version of Islam, which unfortunately is wreaking havoc all across the world. I couldn't imagine what happens in Paris. That was like a unimaginable. That was too far away from me, from where I live in France. So I couldn't imagine. But when I start to talk in front of everybody what I feel, what we should uh, do, and uh, I feel the, uh, I feel something really strong inside me, and just the, the fact to, to talk to someone what I feel, what I think about this event, that's all so, so powerful, I don't know how to say that. It's been an amazing experience to see how even in the most unfortunate of circumstances, people can come together in solidarity. I'm Will, and you've been watching Susu TV. Oh.